Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am Koi V. Appa and today I will be talking about the upcoming pets update in Fishing Simulator. So I'm going solo today. I don't have Koi V with me. Uh, Koi will be in the next video. So if we have a look, I am standing outside what will be a Patricia's pet shop. So the sign above my head there did say pet shop coming soon up until quite recently. That has now changed and we also have one of the upcoming pets sitting on top of that sign as well which is the parrot so he looks like he is the magic variation so we do know what patricia is going to look like this is what she is going to look like so unless there's any last minute changes which i don't expect there will be this is what we should expect in the pet shop so i am curious to find out what those objects on what looks like a hat on top of her head are and if they have any significance to her character so if we have a look at the pets that we're expecting to see in this update we know that there are three pets so we do have a parrot of course sitting on top of that sign there we also have a monkey and a turtle so i'm wondering if they might possibly include a surprise fourth pet that we haven't yet seen so there are tons of pets that they could include in this update or f future updates and it would be a nice surprise if we did get a fourth pet that we weren't expecting so we take a look at the parrot first as it does seem to be heavily featured in the update material that we've seen so far here are some of the early modeling done for the parrot and i must say true to the great detail the developers have given the fish in this game um, they've also put a lot of detail into this parrot now we know there will be up to eight possible parrot variations um, we don't know if they're going to include all eight variations for each of the pets you would imagine that they would do that and keep them consistent across all of the pets. So if we look at the uh, following eight variations, we do have a pirate, of course, and a lava, a magic, and a normal one for the parrot. We also have a viking, an emerald, a pharaoh, and lastly, a sun priest. So I'm just wondering with the connection between the Pharaoh variation and the Pharaoh Dunes Island in this game as to whether there will be any special abilities uh, or fishing abilities associated with your pet uh, when you are fishing in the Pharaoh Dunes. So the developers have mentioned in the past that the variations are related to the rods, the islands and the spears only and this would explain the Pharaoh variation with the connection to the Pharaoh Dunes Island. But with that said, I think there is also a possible connection uh, to the boats. Obviously, we have a pirate ship and a Viking boat in the game. So we have seen that there are pirate and Viking pet variations. So it would indeed seem that they are related. As for the variations themselves, I'm looking forward to finding out if the variations are something you have to buy. So for example, do you buy a normal pet using coins? and then purchase the various variations using gems and if each variation has its own special fishing ability. So far, the developers have indicated that the pet primary function will be to help the player complete the fishing index achievement. And I, for one, am really happy that this is the case. So if we go in and have a look at the achievements window here, we can see that there is down the bottom the fishing index complete achievement and at the moment as you can see I've caught just under 300 of the 2120 different fish types within the game so there is a 10,000 dim diamonds or gems reward for completing that achievement so as you can see the index is huge so any um, feature that's going to be included in the game to help achieving that achievement is uh, very welcome so it is also going to be interesting to see if uh, when you buy a pet, um, if its appearance does change depending on where you are and what you are using. So if, for example, if there is a connection between the appearance of the pet and say, for example, the rod that you're using. So if you're using a lava rod, does the appearance of your pet change to the uh, lava variant of that particular pet? Um, so that would be a nice feature if that is the case. So it's obviously still not very clear um, what way they're going to do it, but uh, we will find out very soon. 
So let's have a look at the other pets that are, we know about besides the um, parrot. So we also do have a monkey. So as you can see here, we have a normal monkey, a lava monkey and a magic one and a pirate monkey. We have not seen any other variations other than these ones, but again, the variations should be the same across all of the pets. Uh, the developer did post a, a vote asking for players to choose their preferred choice of eyes for the monkey. So while option three was the clear favorite, I think they still could do better and we'll have to wait until the update to see if those are the eyes that they did go for with the monkey. Lastly, we have the turtle. As you can see, we have six variations here. All of them look awesome. The lava one looks like the lava is dripping off the turtle. This is a great little detail. The second picture gives us a lot more detail of the turtles from different angles. But as you can see, the lava turtle does not have the lava effect. So I really hope that they do include that detail in the final design and modeling of this particular pet. So personally, before coming into this video, I was most excited about the monkey and it wasn't my intention to get that one first. But now after a while doing this video, I am edging towards the turtle as my favorite and the one that I will buy first. I know Koei is looking forward to the parrot as he wants to pair it with the pirate ship that he is planning to buy in the future. So he does have a lot of saving up to do as that ship costs about 8,000 gems. Now another detail that we know is that these pets will in fact hatch from an egg. And we've already seen what this egg might look like and here is an early release of a pet egg in the pet shop and it does look super cool. So I'm not sure if all the pets will hatch from the same looking egg uh, but you would have to imagine that each pet will have its own different looking egg. This could also introduce some great opportunities in the future for events, um, particularly around Easter time, as other games ha on Roblox have done with some great success. So you may have noticed in the last few days that your backpack has also been updated. So the backpack now has a pets tab. Obviously there is nothing in there at the moment. And I would suspect that you will be able to equip your different pets and possibly their variations uh, within the backpack itself. I don't believe you're going to have to go into Patricia's pet shop to equip them like you have to do with the boat going into the boat shop. So that would seem just like a pretty long process and a long roundabout way of doing it. So there's no point in putting them into the backpack unless you can obviously equip them while you're in the backpack. So lastly, the update itself. So the update is due to be released uh, this Friday, the 12th. That is uh, USA time. So I am here in Australia and we expect to see the update sometime on Saturday. So we are very excited for that this weekend. I have been fishing and collecting gems all week. So I've been trying to collect as much money as possible and also my gems by doing quests and going for sunken ships to try and collect as many gems as I can. Not exactly sure, like I said, how you will pay for these pets. I suspect it will be a combination of both, as the developers have indicated. There will be both coins and gems. So obviously maybe if there are upgrades, then you could potentially have to buy those with money, or it might buy the variations with the gems, so on, so on. So really, it's up in the air as to how all that is going to work, and we will only find out once the update comes out itself this weekend. So if you do like this video, hit the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing. If you are already subscribed, thank you for your support. It's a short video today and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye everyone.